This is the front of the Kona Islander going towards the lobby. facing the swimming pool and they also have units facing um, I mean the balcony facing the swimming pool and they also have units to be the balcony facing uh, Ali Ibo Okay, This is going towards um, the unit that we're staying which is facing Ali Ibo so this is my walk. This is uh, inside the Kona Islander. And uh, I'm gonna show you, this is the way to the lobby going straight, but I'll show you. Um, they have a parking. It's free parking, but you have to have a permit, but it's limited. So, um, but they have an overflow parking. If it's no parking available, you can park on the street. They have very nice grounds right now over here. And so I'll take you to the parking area. This is the side parking. This one here that takes you to Ali Boulevard. And over here. This connects to the front. There's also parking in the front. The top of the second floor, there's a barbecue. We haven't really used that one. But on the bottom here, this is the laundry. This is the apartment laundry right here. takes you to the front of the building, the entrance, right here. So, this is also a parking area at the front of the building. There's a mini kitchen over here. And on the other side, we have the mini fridge, microwave, muffin maker, and uh, this one here. You want to heat some, some food. And they have some pots and pans in here. It's well stacked. for a walk. So this is uh, our balcony and uh, this is where we eat our breakfast or dinner, lunch. This is also my office and this is actually the back view of the Cone Islander facing Ali'i Boulevard. It's the front um, That's where the, the lobby is and where the parking, most of the parking, the court parking, they also have a side uh, parking. But this is the back view, but it's facing the Ali Strip. This is the famous Ali Strip where you will find all these different restaurants, cafes. So um, we have a great view of the ocean. They don't have a, a, a really nice beach here, but if you want to go uh, swimming, you can go down. Far from here, they have a nice beach. 
by Marriott, which is actually walking distance. So, they have a very nice grounds, they keep it really good. So the front of the building is actually facing Kopakini Highway. Okay, so it's really nice interior. Just, but just remember that each unit is individually owned and managed. So um, some units might not be uh, good inside, some units are. So the best way that I could recommend for you is to contact the owners directly. And that's what we did through VRBO and I think you can do that on Airbnb but if you get the units from either third party like uh, booking.com or RCI you pretty much don't know what unit you're gonna get so I recommend contacting directly so now you are going towards the back of the building and that's the gate that leads you to Ali'i Boulevard which is a busy street it has it's like a strip and um, it's facing the ocean and right across from the hotel are nice restaurants. First of all, we have the Kai restaurant, uh, which used to be bubble gum. And right next to it is, uh, they have all these uh, different restaurants, ice cream parlors. We have the Kona, Papa Kona, which has really good restaurants right there. Okay? Let's open the gate. And let's go to the right side facing the ocean and every Wednesday through Sunday they have um, farmers market open which is they sell fresh fruits and vegetables so this is the Kai restaurant and now these are all oceanfront restaurants right there this right across from it which is the St. Michael's uh, St. Michael Archangel Catholic Church so if you are Catholic you can pretty much just walk right next door to attend Mass This is St. Michael, Archangel, Catholic Church, and I'll take you to the farmer's market. You cannot really swim on the beach over here because it's very rocky, but if you go down a little further down, you can swim. There's a beach there by Courtyard by Marriott, and it's a public beach, so you can bring your beach umbrella and towels and stuff you can go there. So this is pretty much the farmer's market. See right here? This is just a glimpse of the farmer's market. Like I said, they have fresh fruits and vegetables. Where are the fruits? Oh, here I see. Oh, from woodworking. Wow. Oh, look at this. Papaya. Wow. Papaya, papaya. One dollar each. Papaya, man. Coconut. I mean, coconut banana there's some more over there you see a lot of bananas over here cute little banana chiquitita chiquita whatever banana oh look at that rambutan the vegetables ginger cabbage Papaya, vegetables, oh, there's papaya over there, squash. So further down there is the beach that will take you to the Marriott, but I'm not going to take, uh, go over there and go back. And I'll take you to the other side of Kona Island. So the 
take it to the right side. Oh, that's a one way. Oh, the I'm going to take it to the left side. Um, this one here, you're going to see a lot of restaurants and shops. And it's very cool because it's facing this beautiful ocean. So this is the back view of the Kona Islander Inn, although some of the units are facing the ocean. Like I said, and some units the back, the balcony is facing the interior, which is the swimming pool. Since it's a two-way highway, it gets busy here sometimes. Time, sometimes it gets busy as well but the, the, the benefit is you're close to everything it's walking distance um, we're not even renting a car we're staying here for a whole month we only rented a car when we go to uh, a tour like say go to Hilo but if you stay here you pretty much walk to every, everywhere there's even a safe way which is not far from here but like I said it's doesn't get really quiet at night time. There are benefits, there are pros and cons. So here's the ocean, beautiful ocean. And here's the restaurants. There's different restaurants. There's a, there's a Thai restaurant over here. There's a resort over there. So this is pretty much like a strip where you can just hang out and eat different kinds of different restaurants every day. Here's Lama Kava. We always go here for fresh catch of the day. They have happy hour. Most of the restaurants here they have happy hour and sometimes it ends at 5, sometimes it ends at 5.30 and they have discounted foods and drinks. And every day there is, uh, you know, if you want to play uh, volleyball, there's a beach volleyball here. It's open to the public, but I think you have to write down, I don't know how you can avail of it, but usually in the afternoon there's a lot of people that play here. And right now there's not, it's obvious because it's hot right now. Usually a lot of people play here. Then there's a plaza there where you can play. There's also Outback Steakhouse and more restaurants over there. So I'm not going to go further down there. I just wanted to show you um, what's available close to Kona Island. To the hotel you can see how convenient it is to stay at the Kona Islander and so right there is the building it's only a three-story building it's not that big so like I said uh, some some units are facing the ocean the balcony uh, facing and this is the side parking entrance and um, they do they do nightly, weekly, monthly uh, um, rentals, and, uh, and all units are privately owned, okay? So, like I said, in order for you to get exactly what you, that you want, you need to actually uh, check out or get in contact with the owner of each of the unit that you want to rent. That way, you would know what unit you will be staying in. And so here's the gate. Um, go inside. And, and uh, try to share with you um, the amenities at the Kona Islander so that you would know what to expect when you rent one of the units here. And if you like this video, please click like, share, 